Schefter, the June primary is two weeks from today, and the race to replace Mike Michoud and represent Maine's second congressional district is beginning to take shape. And tonight, we begin airing our commitment 2014 profiles of the candidates. WTW News 8's political reporter Paul Merrill begins our coverage with a closer look at Emily Kane. Sharnay, when Emily Kane's family moved to Maine in 1998, she had no plans to enter the world of politics. After serving 10 years in the state legislature, this Democrat is hoping to take what she's learned in Augusta to Washington. I'm running for Congress because I'm optimistic about Maine, because I believe it's better to be part of the solution than to be part of the problem, and because I fundamentally believe there's more good going on in our communities than bad. I was going to say, with the demand and the increase that he was telling me about... At 34 years old, Emily yeah. Kane is the youngest candidate running to represent Maine's 2nd Congressional District. During our interview at Baxter Brewing Company in Lewiston, Kane told us her youth is an advantage. When I travel around the district, what I hear so often is I wish my son or daughter could make the decision you have to stay here and live in Maine and in the second district. How long does the beer sit in here? Kane says working to better Maine's economy presents both her biggest challenge and her biggest opportunity. The Orono resident says the second district needs help with what she calls foundational issues, better roads, improved broadband access, and renewable energy sources. How do you pay for all of that? There are so many tax programs on the books that are 40, 50, 60 years old that aren't working for the economy of today and especially not the one we want to build for tomorrow. The federal government could use a dose of, of Maine budgeting sensibility. Hi, how you doing? Kane's challenger in this primary is Aroostook County Democrat Troy Jackson. Jackson accuses Kane of compromising Democratic principles during her decade in the state legislature. I've never been someone to demonize my opponent. I always come back to the table always stay there to find the solutions, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. And I think that's what sets me apart in this race. Kane says her stance on social issues sets her apart from Jackson. He voted against marriage equality in the past, but now supports it. Is this a collaboration beer? Republicans no. are already taking jabs at Kane, saying her part-time job at the University of Maine hasn't provided her with the experience she would need to serve in Congress. Anyone who's making an attack on me for the kind of work I do doesn't value the education sector. She's a proven leader. And like just about every other candidate who runs for Congress, Kane says she is the candidate who can rise above partisan bickering. Fighting and standing up for your values is important. But some, at some point, the fighting has to stop. We have enough fighting and fighters in Washington. We need leaders. Our profile series continues tomorrow night with a closer look at Democrat Troy Jackson. Profiles of the Republican candidates will air on Thursday and Friday nights. The primary is June 10th. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.